In 2005, Shehu Osiwa started Nairland, a general purpose discussion forum with a strong bias towards issues of interest to Nigerians at home. His initial plan was to attract enough traffic to earn up to 60,000 naira from Google AdSense per month. That is about $133 today. But the unexpected happened. The forum became phenomenal and resonated well with Africans around the world. And about two decades later, Naraland has become the largest forum in Africa and one of the best discussion forums in the world. How did he do it? What magic did Shewo Siwa perform? Today's video is about how Shewo Siwa abandoned his studies to start Naraland. But before we continue, if you love true inspiring and motivating stories that will rekindle your drive for success. You are in the right place. That is what we do. So the next time you find yourself getting nervous that something may go wrong, just click on the like button to calm your nerves. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Shewo Siwa was born in his hometown in Songwoka, Ogun State, where he spent all his life from childhood to this day. He grew up knowing and embracing the technological aspect of life. He has been interested in the internet since he knew what internet was all about and how to use it. Shewo Siwa enrolled as a student of electrical engineering at the prestigious University of Ileife in 1998. He was an exceptional student and did very well during his first few years in the university. Sadly, he had other plans. His passions gave him sleepless nights and he saw the need to abandon his studies and focus on programming and technopreneur. That is, he converted his tech passion into constructive and viable business ideas. This decision didn't go well with a lot of people initially, but Shewo Osiwa knew what he wanted in life, and abandoning his studies only brought him closer to his dreams. However, his entrepreneurial journey was not without failures. Naira Land is not the first business Shewo Osiwa started. His first shot at entrepreneurship was when he started a web hosting business in 2003. Unfortunately, he only got one customer after working Tirelessly for three months, he ran out of capital really fast and the business failed as he couldn't satisfy the several requests for hosting he later got that year. This experience broke his heart. He never expected his debut internet business to fail so fast. He started having a rethink about his technopreneurship adventure. He almost gave up. People around him started advising him to get certification and search for a 9 to 5 job. He almost gave in to their advice, but on his second thought, he didn't want to go through the path of 9 to 5 job after tasting creative freedom. At this point, he rejuvenated this drive for success. So he started researching business ideas and presenting them to friends and families. But he had a serious challenge. Regardless of how amazing his business ideas sounded then, he didn't have the capital to fund them. This cycle continued for a while before he started his second internet business, which was a website for sending SMS messages. Being a programmer, Sheo Osiwa implemented the website with Python. The business lasted for a while and was really growing fast. But Cheung is a forward thinker. He knew his SMS website business couldn't take him to his destination. He forecasted that the business may be overtaken by technological trends in the future. So he decided to start a website forum. That was the only business idea as at that time that required no additional capital. At this point, he already had access to the internet and the $50 per month VPS that a family member paid for. In November 2003, Shewo Siwa created three web forums. One was for higher education students, one was for IT discussions, and the last one covered the emerging GSM titled the Mobile Nigeria Forum. The Mobile Nigeria Forum was promising. Within a month, the forum got about 300 members, but Shewo wasn't too impressed with the growth potential as at that time. 
he started thinking outside the box. He noticed two odd things about the Mumbai Nigeria Forum. Number one, despite its narrow focus, it was the only Nigeria community that gave a voice to Nigerians at home. During those early days, most Nigerian websites were owned and dominated by Nigerians living in the US and the UK. Number two, the off-topic section of the forum covering topics outside telecom like romance and joke was becoming more vibrant and active than the Mobile Nigeria forum itself. From this observation, Shewu Siwa saw an opportunity and he created a general purpose discussion forum that gave a voice to Nigerians and other countries in Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, this single innovative business decision gave birth to Naira Land. Shewu's initial plan was to earn up to 60,000 naira per month from Google AdSense. But Naira Land grew faster than he expected, and of course, he made much more income than you can think of. However, as the platform continues to grow, Shou had problems with spammers flooding the platform. So, he started getting help from moderators, popularly known as mods, that he selected from the forum. These moderators helped to update Naira Land front page and keep the forum clean from spammers. Shou Siwa enjoyed Google AdSense income on Naira Land till 2012 when Google removed ad from the platform because of too many sensitive and sexual related topics. This setback challenged Shewu Siwa to start selling his hard space. Rumors had it that Shewu made more money from selling his own hard space than what he got from Google AdSense, but he never confirmed it. In 2011, a group of companies approached Shou Osiwa with the intention to buy Naira land for $1 million, which was about 155 million Naira then, but Shou declined the offer. By 2013, Shou Osiwa made the Forbes list of Africa's best successful entrepreneurs under 30. But one thing still baffled people about Shou. Despite his wealth, people expect him to be living in a big mansion in Lekki, VI, or perhaps Banana Island in Lagos. But that is not Shewu. He still lives in his hometown in Sogwata, Ogun State. He doesn't like celebrity status and has been avoiding the spotlight by all means. Most people don't know him, most people don't know what he looks like, and I assure you that he only has a few pictures of himself online. He always lives a very private lifestyle. As of today, Naira Land has over 3 million members across Africa. And because of Shewu Osiwa's lifestyle, his unwavering focus and passion for programming, his fans fondly call him the Nigerian Mark Zuckerberg. But the question is, do you think Naira Land potential is fully exploited? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment below. Thank you.